it, it's unfortunate that we have adults who seemingly have no business here being on our campus coming to our campus and causing problems. Concerns from students and parents following an attack at a local high school. Thanks for joining us for Fox 40 News at 5. I'm Nikki Lorenzo. And I'm Eric Harriman. Police have issued five citations after a group came onto JFK High School's campus and pepper sprayed a student and a staff member as well. Fox 40's Karma Dickerson joining us live from that campus where she is learning a third person may also have been attacked. Karma. Yes, the school district and uh, the police department at this point not verifying it, saying that they're trying to go through all of their footage and really sort through all of the chaos to understand how, what happened and how many people were affected. But this certainly does raise questions as we talk to this mother who says her daughter was also attacked, raising questions not just of what happened and who's responsible, but how something like this was able to happen on a school campus in the first place. When Krista Triplett saw a missed call from her daughter's friend Thursday afternoon, her feeling of dread started to grow. Next thing you know, a random number was FaceTiming me and I answered the phone and see my daughter with blood all over her head screaming, Mom, I just got jumped. Krista believes her daughter is the first of at least three people to be attacked on the JFK High School campus yesterday. All she heard was, that's her, that's her friend right there. And she turned around and she had it to defend herself. When Fox 40 was at the scene yesterday, the Sacramento City Unified School District's chief communications officer described what came next. It appears that at least six people, adults who are not, not students here at the school, came on campus without permission, went to a classroom, and began to uh, attack this student inside the classroom. At least two people pepper sprayed, a student, as well as a campus monitor who tried to intervene. For me to drop her off every morning, I'm thinking she's protected. In today's safety reality, how do people get onto a school campus unchecked and harm students and staff? A lot of our campuses have sort of, uh, you know, open access, as you can see here. Um, unfortunately, we, we don't have a way to um, necessarily prevent that from happening the way we're currently constructed. The school district said today that was a general statement about the campuses in the district and that JFK is actually one of their most secure campuses. According to an update Friday from the district, the suspects accessed the school through gates unlocked shortly before dismissal. When we circled the school today, we didn't see any obvious open access points at first. When we came by this back entrance of the campus earlier, it was closed and locked. However, when we came back at around 140, we saw students exiting for PE class running out of the gate. The gate left unlocked and during the time we were here unattended, sometimes no one coming in or out, simply an open gate. We talk with the students and they say it typically is left open as they run off campus for their exercise. Then this as the last students came back. We have enough of a challenge, our security team, our, our school safety program, just keeping students in line. And now it seems we have to worry about adults coming to campuses. Adults coming onto campus and harming students has been a reality for over a decade. We are only five months out from the Uvalde school massacre where an adult killed 21 students and teachers in Texas. And just this week, the adult who came to the Parkland campus was sentenced to life in prison for the killing of 17 students and staff members. Just imagine if one of those people brought a gun up here. It wouldn't have just been my child. And do we have to wait for that to happen? Fox 40 attempted to speak to the district in person today, but they were not able to accommodate our deadline. They sent us a statement saying in part, we are exploring a series of short term and long term plans to further enhance student safety while continuing to make our schools the welcoming centers of learning they should be. As for the mom we spoke to, she's calling on the community to rally in favor of safer schools to support the students, the staff, the faculty, everybody on campus. But she's also calling on the community to hold themselves accountable and make sure that they are raising students that don't grow into adults that come onto campus and attack other people. Reporting from Sacramento, Karma Dickerson, Fox 40 News.